welcome to Geeky Ed. Now in this episode, we're going to be kicking off the new Todd McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Now, as I stated previously, I am an inbox collector. However, all these figures here, I do have the entire wave, everything that's currently out, including the Bat Raptor. But this new video is going to be official unboxings. I will be displaying these promptly in a display case. So for the very first video, I decided to start off with three absolutely amazing figures. So we're going to start off unboxing the Nightwing, the Batman Who Laughs, and Batgirl. And the reason why I wanted to start off with these figures is because they come with a build of Batmobile, which is pretty cool how it gives you a nice little incentive uh, on these figures. So we're going to go ahead and start off with Nightwing here and let's go ahead and get these guys unboxed. So, each figure does come with a trading card, which is pretty uh, pretty rare to see. A lot of the figures don't come with those uh, trading cards anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and get this little guy cut open here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take out first, we'll put this on the ground. We're going to go ahead and show off here the first piece of the built a Batmobile. Now Nightwing comes with the center piece. You can see the amount of detail that McFarlane puts into his figures. And back in the day I used to collect uh, some McFarlane figures. I remember I had a McFarlane Dragon Sorcerer uh, figure. I think I sold it a while back. Uh, but I have been collecting figures throughout my life, throughout the NECA Muppets, uh, the Playmate Simpsons figures that failed miserably at the towards of the end of its lifeline, I guess. But here, Nightwing comes with his classic batons. You can see he's got the grip handles on there. So it's pretty nice, uh, pretty plain. But here is the actual figure. And let's see what's the best way to take this guy out of here. Here. These things are packed super, super tight into the uh, little display packs here. So, here is Nightwing, and we're going to go ahead and see what's going on with them. Now, I am pretty actually floored with the amount of detail that's on them. So, first things first, we'll talk about articulation points. We got bends and swivel at the shoulder. We got a swivel at the bicep. Pretty awesome. We have a double joint at the elbow. And what that is, is that you can see there are two hinges there for articulation. So you can get a little bit more bend. Uh, we got bends and swivel and eh, turns at the wrist. We have a nice little torso articulation. We have bends at the hips and a double knee joint at the knee. And we have bends at the ankle and at the toe. Pretty cool. And we got his little batons here and Nightwing does come with a little back piece so we can go ahead and uh, pop those on there. Uh, let's see, the best way to do this would be probably to grip his handles when he gets into, when he goes ahead and gets into action here when he fights off Joker or Riddler or whoever he's gotta be fighting off. Each figure does come with a display stand so I'm going to go ahead and get that guy out of here, actually. Boom. So here, every figure comes with a trading card. You can see there, that is Nightwing's collectible card. I do not know what I'm going to be doing with the cards yet. Um, so for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in there. Uh, but they do come with a nice little display sand. You can see the DC Embroider logo right there. And... We'll just go ahead and pop it in the ankle joint. Go ahead here. And that is Nightwing for the first part of the three figure series for the build of Batmobile. So next up, we're going to go ahead and get Batgirl out of the packaging here. Uh, I've already slit the tapes on the bottom, so in case anybody's wondering why are these already pre-unboxed? Uh, for these three figures, I just went ahead and slipped the bottom of the tape to save some time on the video. So, first things first is she comes with the right side, I believe, of the Batmobile. And for the Batmobile, all you do is go ahead and 
snap it in place and it clicks right in and it's pretty tough to get out just on a half-assed chance of trying to get it out so that's that so Batgirl aka Barbara Gordon comes with a battering and she comes with a little gun with a hook shot on there so that's a nice little detail with the coil and everything that's pretty pretty cool so let's go ahead and get this little tape off here all right Here is Barbara Gordon, aka Batgirl. Now, one thing that is pretty prominent with collectors is I don't know, this may be sounding kind of weird for some viewers, but uh, the smell of fresh new collectibles right out of the package. Uh, it's called the figure smell, and it, it smells like clean plastic. It may sound weird, but for figure collectors, they know what I'm talking about, and this smells. Uh, a flat out amazing uh, as weird as that sounds so here is Batgirl uh, same articulation points it seems from uh, uh, Nightwing here you got articulation bend at the torso same articulation points uh, swivels at the shoulders double knee joint at the ankle a nice little uh, soft plastic cape which is pretty cool and on the back you can see she's got a little uh, backpack there but the detail on her head sculpt is more detailed out of the package than it is in its nice little window box so here you can see the detail of Barbara Gordon aka Batgirl her head sculpt here is just amazing uh, even the boots uh, with the little grips on the soles right there and where did I put it? And like the previous figure, Barbara Gordon, I keep calling her Barbara. Batgirl comes with her own tr uh, collectible trading card here. She comes with her little display stand. If I can grip it up. There we go. One thing that's pretty cool too is that uh, the, the backdrop here on the figure's display. Uh, you can see a lot of classic comic artwork. Uh, from uh, Detective Comics to Action Comics. Uh, McFarlane really goes out on all his uh, details on everything. So, nice little display stand here to make Barbara, sorry, Batgirl display and stand up properly if I can get her to pose somewhat. I don't know. I'm not using the best. Uh, tabletop here as some of you might have seen this is uh, some storage containers uh, that I'm using for my figures here so here is Batgirl and last but not least uh, the main marquee figure in this wave is the Batman who laughs now for those that are probably wondering who the hell is the Batman who laughs I highly recommend going out and reading uh, Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo's uh, basically he was debuted I believe in Dark Knight's Metal and it's just an alternate universe where uh, Batman became uh, a little bit more ruthless in a way but there's this new villain that's basically a Batman in a Joker mentality it's a lot to go into I can devote maybe one to two videos on it just going into the lore and the background of him but um, we're not doing that because this is about the figures. Batman Who Laughs also comes with his little card here here he is in the package right here I'm gonna go ahead and leave him here while we get the final piece of the Batmobile and like the previous piece it just snaps right in nice little Batmobile collectible now Todd McFarlane did say himself that a lot of the figures in future waves are going to be having these nice little uh, incentive to build a, uh, a Batmobile and eventually there's going to be a collection of the different iterations of the Batmobile 
because uh, any fan of Batman knows that there are uh, quite a few of the Batmobile. And my personal favorite is the 1989 Michael Keaton Batmobile, uh, also the Tim Burton flick. Uh, let's see, it just got some stuck plastic in here. Let me see here. There we go. So the Batman Who Laughs comes with two accessories. He comes with a like a half a scythe blade here and he comes with the more recognizable weapon uh, that he carried in the comics and it is this giant blade they can see it's got nice rust detail on there uh, mine is a little bit bent but that's because it's a soft plastic but what are you going to do uh, so right now we're going to go ahead and take him out of the package here I forgot one little little connector piece here on the bottom here. Alright, so one thing I don't understand I mean I guess I understand why they did it, but the figures are really snug within the plastic covering, so I don't see why they had to uh put those little plastic straps in there, but uh wow this is amazing uh, wow even his spikes are really really pointy so you can see his grin is just highly highly detailed the back of his coat the front of his coat is a soft plastic uh, he does now the next wave of the DC multiverse figures are gonna be from the Dark Knights metal universe so we're gonna be getting a uh, death machine and I forget the other names but they're gonna be really really nice to go along with the leader of the bunch so same articulation points on the Batman who laughs even his boots have a nice little buckle detail uh, even the, the, the faded weathering slash tattered trench coat of his is nice and detailed um, just flat out amazing so you can also grip his weapons uh, proposability Let's see here, let's just go ahead and get this little guy in here. If it wants to, if not, it's no big deal. There's one. So, this is the Batman Who Laughs. And like I mentioned before, I do recommend at least even wikipedia who the hell this guy is because he has become more mainstream. And for McFarlane figure collectibles to actually go out and create a figure like this, um, it is something that is going to be pretty much mainstream now. One thing I forgot to do earlier in the video is, oops, is to actually go ahead and show you guys how tall these guy guys are. I can't even speak today, sorry. So these are about seven inches uh, together. But this wave here completes the build a Batmobile. So stay tuned for more videos of the upcoming DC Multiverse figures. If you guys like this video, go ahead and uh, you know click that little like button. Go ahead and drop a comment below on what you'd like to see more of from the DC Multiverse figures. Until then, my friends, don't forget to geek out, subscribe to our channel, and until then, we'll see you guys soon.